Поэтому э, с большим удовольствием передаю э, микрофон слово нашему модератору. Сергей, давайте поприветствуем бурными аплодисментами. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm glad to welcome you at uh, uh, our uh, uh, panel discussion. I think this topic is highly important for all the representatives of the um, uh, Festival of uh, Youth and uh, Students. Uh, I'm very glad that you are participating in this uh, event because it's a very good platform for decision making for the future and uh, also one of the aspects of our discussion uh, that is uh, civil society combating uh, and confronting global threats uh, is of a major importance um, and we hope to realize uh, this uh, plan in the future. I would like to introduce our experts in the field and uh, Alexander Mikhailov, uh, 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 let's uh, greet our speaker, a uh, member of uh, the Council on uh, External uh, Defense uh, politi politic Politics, also uh, the uh, uh, deputy uh, of the Interior uh, Minister uh, of uh, and uh, State uh, Drug uh, Control, uh, Vyacheslav Baturin, uh, the uh, Deputy Head uh, of uh, the Department of uh, uh, Drug uh, State uh, Drug Control uh, of the Interior Ministry, Rodrigo Reis, uh, member of the Committee of the Russian-Brazilian uh, uh, Program of uh, the Exchange of the Youth, and our uh, partner, uh, Pierre uh, Bertrand, uh, the head of the project, uh, Thinker View. Um, before we begin uh, uh, today's discussion, uh, I would like to uh, raise a global issue, uh, a, an issue of global importance. I'm sorry, I, I, I haven't introduced uh, uh, Denis, Dennis uh, Skok, uh, is uh, <clears throat> the representative of the Moscow State Technical University named after Bauman. He's going to talk about uh, uh, the, um, uh, this, uh, uh, he's going to talk about about the uh, problem of uh, drug trafficking uh, in our country. Uh, now, we are going to discuss uh, uh, the topic, what our world consists of, a global life. It seems that we're all living our everyday lives, but do we actually think about what it uh, consists of? Every moment in our life, every second in our life counts. A lot of things happen within one second, within one minute. Uh, 30,000 uh, likes uh, are posted, one Bible is printed, uh, every second uh, a plane uh, uh, takes off from an airport somewhere uh, in the world. So every second four people uh, on the planet are born and unfortunately two people uh, die within that same second so when we look at the when we look at life uh, from a global uh, perspective we sometimes do not notice these uh, important events and we think of the future and we think and say that i'm going to do this uh, in the future i'm going to delay this uh, and at a certain point in time i'm going to take up sports but we have to do it uh, here and now uh, <coughs> unfortunately, <coughs> unfortunately, we um, sometimes need to understand and uh, uh, draw uh, uh, and uh, draw conclusions from what is happening with our own life because people are uh, looking towards us and looking around us. Uh, we're going to talk uh, about the threat uh, to the security of every person on Earth. And uh, this, uh, uh, we, we're going to discuss this threat. By the end of this uh, discussion, I hope that we come to the mutual understanding of what we are in this life and how do we value our lives and the lives of our relatives. It's quite understandable uh, that uh, global threats uh, such as terrorism, drugs, uh, 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 arms uh, sales and distribution uh, is connected with particular people who, who pers persecute their own interests. And uh, uh, 
I'm going to talk about those uh, threats and uh, what uh, they present uh, to the society. Uh, our uh, first uh, speaker, Alexander Mikhailov, I'm going to give him the floor. Uh, I was uh, actually uh, uh, hoping that I was going to use multimedia technology, but there is no Wi-Fi in the auditorium, so I'll have to improvise. Um, uh, maybe it's all for the best. Well, this question is often raised uh, and uh, discussed in the modern world, and sometimes we don't need, uh, we don't even want to repeat uh, these uh, issues. We all understand that the main threats in our lives are uh, terrorism, extremism, uh, and uh, um, and another very uh, important uh, um, problem is the problem connected with. Uh, drug uh, trafficking, uh, because uh, uh, it's uh, uh, one of the uh, base functions that uh, finances uh, the above-mentioned threats like uh, terrorism and uh, extremism. I uh, came to the festival and brought my old ba ba uh, badges uh, uh, from the uh, previous festival when I used to work at the committee for the uh, national security KGB uh, in uh, the Soviet Union. At the time, these problems were not even raised at the festival. There were local wars, local conflicts, but uh, the problem of drugs was not global, uh, not as global as it is now anyway. And uh, we, I understand uh, very well that when we think about this problem, we start asking ourselves, what do we do about it? Uh, and the most important thing is how to define uh, a way out of uh, this potentially dangerous uh, situation. Uh, the number of uh, drug users and uh, 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 psychoactive substances is uh, growing, and uh, in accordance with the UN data, uh, Approximately 200,000 people die uh, from uh, drug abuse, but the uh, figure uh, is uh, far less uh, than uh, the realistic figure because the number of uh, people who die from uh, drug abuse uh, is not uh, actually uh, um, is not actually recorded. Um, on the one hand, uh, it's a very difficult issue to tackle. On the other hand, it might seem easy. Uh, drugs and drug uh, trafficking is a part. Uh, of uh, market relations. Uh, and uh, in order uh, to uh, stop uh, the demand, you need uh, to uh, curb uh, um, the supply. Uh, it, uh, it, all uh, this uh, is in the sphere of uh, the uh, uh, special uh, forces, but all uh, the efforts uh, that um, uh, the law enforcement uh, makes uh, immediately uh, uh, ta uh, immediately triggers a chain reaction, and uh, the um, law enforcement uh, bodies are fighting uh, uh, this, uh, uh, um, uh, but uh, unfortunately clearing the way for the others to follow. Drug trafficking is one of the most lucrative businesses which exist in the world, and so this uh, business uh, uh, would uh, survive as long as there's demand for drugs. In, in 1990, when I was still uh, an officer of the uh, Committee of State Security, KGB, uh, we were thinking about this idea. When, so when uh, would come the time when uh, well, drugs will, would uh, uh, flood into the USSR? And so we identified three conditions uh, that were, were conducive to the appearance of uh, 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 huge amounts of uh, drugs in this country. First, open boundaries, because the USSR had closed boundaries. Convertible currency, because again, no no one uh, was interested in selling uh, uh, drugs for rubles. It was non-lucrative, uh, definitely answered. That's uh, youth subcultures, uh, wherein uh, there are three elements, sex, rock, and drugs, rock and roll and drugs. And so when the three components uh, were uh, eliminated, 
So the uh, boundaries were opened. Uh, then uh, subculture, youth subculture, started developing very uh, um, actively. And the uh, well, uh, uh, foreign currencies were uh, different, uh, spreading uh, across the uh, ex-USSR uh, territory. And then we received what we have right now, the number the number of uh, uh, drug uh, takers uh, uh, increased nine, ti- uh, nine uh, uh, times uh, since uh, the year 2000. According to the U- UN, uh, the number of uh, drug uh, addicts uh, globally uh, is um, uh, proportional uh, directly proportional uh, to the um, uh, uh, demographic increase, the increase of the population. So it's clear what we have to do. We know that law enforcement agencies are doing their best. We know that we're suppressing the uh, uh, traffic of of drugs. Uh, We send to prison a large number of people who are uh, trafficking drugs and commit crimes, naturally. Then the question is, and this question is something that we are discussing at the Festival of Youth and Students. How can we reduce the consumption of drugs? How can we change the format of uh, youth subculture where drugs uh, should not be? Uh, We've got to develop uh, jointly uh, uh, standards of uh, a new way of life. I'm not talking uh, about uh, not just way of life, but also way of thinking. Unless we do that, uh, young people would still be entrapped by uh, the uh, use uh, fads, uh, including drugs. Uh, Unless we do that, we certainly will lose. And the second point of concern for us is as follows. Lately, we see uh, changes in the technologies of uh, trafficking drugs uh, and uh, in engaging young people into uh, drug abuse. Uh, uh, You see different, so multimedia, internet and some other IT technologies uh, that are very actively involved in that. We are uh, scolding, we are scolding uh, the internet resources so much uh, and even uh, forget uh, that the internet is the field of battle. So the enemy is in this field, battlefield, but other uh, uh, arms, armies uh, are not there. So uh, we uh, are just complaining that we should uh, uh, limit um, the distribution of drugs. And we even cannot imagine what what new technologies we would see tomorrow. Um, Right now, uh, we hear uh, um, uh, that, uh, well, uh, malware websites uh, are um, being blocked because, well, this is the uh, fight against windmills because uh, uh, 30 seconds later, uh, uh, 30 seconds after uh, the closure of a malware uh, website, uh, a new one is opened on a different uh, portal. So irrespective uh, of, of of the fact whether this website is closed or not, uh, well, people and technologies uh, um, allow for uh, accessing such um, content, such uh, uh, sites. So what's left to us? We should change the difference uh, of young people uh, towards this uh, very complicated topic. It's a very complicated uh, topic indeed because we are concentrating our efforts or trying to discuss such uh, uh, problems in an environment which is not inclined to uh, uh, drug abuse because, well, uh, maybe uh, people are not uh, um, eager to help us, but nevertheless they are not uh, drug users, and so uh, those who are using drugs, they try to keep uh, in the shade. And so I think that today we have to uh, um, talk about um, and to reach uh, uh, for technologies that would help us. It's not by chance that I linked terrorism, extremism, and drugs together. Even second ruble, even second dollar, uh, uh, derived from the uh, from the trafficking of uh, of uh, drugs, uh, is channeled uh, to uh, finance terrorism. Why? Because we are dealing. With a very, with very powerful financial flows, uh, which uh, uh, permit to form terrorist organizations, extremist organizations, and that's why we are losing. Uh, 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 we um, are losing people. We have lots of uh, um, um, uh, uh, people uh, who uh, we lose in the battlefield and from drugs and from uh, such things. Uh, or say, I am almost complete. Thank you very much. Uh, you uh, very accurate, accurately uh, so identified and um, uh, drew a picture of this Hydra uh, head uh, or the head of uh, um, um, 
uh, of a monster head, and uh, uh, and so Bertrand is our next uh, Bertrand Bertrand, are you our next speaker? And so. ancien membre du KGB et ça m'a I carefully listened to the uh, ex KGB uh, officer story and I uh, heard lots of uh, uh, stories during the uh, collapse of the Soviet Union, the disintegration of the USSR. Uh, uh, we saw uh, a sharp increase of alcoholic uh, beverages in your country, and uh, we also the same applied to us. And we saw the uh, reduction of the average life expectancy. And we wanted to discuss why people uh, take drugs. We want to understand what are the economic uh, dimensions of this phenomenon. People. Uh, take drugs when they have nothing to do, when life is difficult, when they are looking for a way out. They are looking for an artificial paradise. They want to find some happiness, artificial happiness. That's why when we fight against uh, demand for drugs, we, at the same time, should ensure that young people have jobs and that they uh, have something to do uh, 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 so that uh, we don't have the situation uh, uh, where uh, they take drugs. Uh, and uh, it's also very interesting uh, to trace uh, the uh, money derived from uh, drug trafficking. And uh, some states, some governments turn their backs uh, on the such financial uh, flows. And it's quite clear that even banks participate in this turnover, and they derive their own benefits. Everything which is present on the internet, uh, the so-called black market. And I spoke to the son uh, of my uh, legal counselor. That's a boy a 12-year boy, and we were surfing the net, and uh, we learned a lot of things. Uh, and uh, it took him four hours uh, to uh, find uh, absolutely complete, exhaustive information about different types of drugs. Uh, and when uh, 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 his uh, mother and his teacher at school heard that uh, it was so easy to get uh, drugs or weapons like Kalashnikov uh, machine guns uh, via the internet. They were shocked. So there is a gap uh, between uh, the notions uh, of uh, 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 information, uh, special information, and availability of uh, uh, physical things. Yes, I know there are some uh, people who uh, come specifically to the Caribbean countries in order to uh, um, um, uh, take drugs. Uh, but uh, um, special services uh, everywhere uh, uh, are conducting uh, this battle. They're combating uh, uh, drug trafficking. Well, we uh, know and heard a lot about the uh, Drug Enforcement Agency in the United States, uh, but unfortunately, their efforts were not very successful. And uh, in the Netherlands, the police in the Netherlands, for instance, uh, uh, well, they managed to uh, 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 put together a, 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 a policy, an educational policy uh, for uh, drug takers and drug abusers. So uh, it's not, uh, it's, a, it's a difficult issue. So uh, maybe not, uh, we shouldn't punish those uh, people who take drugs, uh, uh, but uh, maybe we should educate, enlighten them. Uh, otherwise, uh, uh, well, they would be still looking for such ways to live this life. Uh, uh, well, uh, you know that uh, various uh, 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 hackers, uh, computer hackers, are also uh, um, 
um, drug addicts, almost 100 percent of them, um, and CIA, for instance, finds it, dif uh, is, uh, finds it difficult to find hackers who are not addicted to drugs. Uh, and also, and also distinguish between the hard drugs and uh, soft uh, drugs. Uh, drugs. You see, cannabis is not enough uh, to uh, give uh, such people uh, drive uh, in their work because these people are are very different. They think otherwise. I mean, the hackers. And the other thing I wanted to say that uh, just saying that drugs are evil is not enough. Uh, we need to educate people uh, to take a responsibility for themselves, for their lives. Uh, and I'd like to remind you uh, uh, that uh, 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 the English beat uh, uh, the Chinese economy uh, uh, by in the opium wars, and in um, we know, uh, as far as history is concerned, uh, that uh, um, uh, drug uh, abuse influenced uh, the uh, development of countries uh, to a very great extent. Extent we all know that uh, drug trafficking uh, support supports uh, terrorism, uh, finances terrorism and extremism. And uh, there's Michael Bloa, uh, who uh, was one of the first people uh, who uh, warned against the role of CIA. Uh, I'm sorry for uh, naming so many facts. I don't have uh, that much time uh, to go into detail. Perhaps I will answer your questions and have a, a personal discussion with you after the panel session. Uh, thank you, Bertram. Bertrand. Uh, Bertrand has raised a very important uh, topic. I don't think that many of you know, uh, at least those who don't deal with the issue professionally, uh, uh, with uh, combating uh, 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 the drug threat, uh, that uh, uh, the result of the war between uh, uh, the United King uh, between Great Britain and uh, China uh, uh, is uh, the threat that has been uh, historically uh, proven. And um, uh, we're talking about it because we're not simply talking about the health and the prospects of the development of the nation, but uh, we're also talking about the security issues, uh, the uh, securities of the borders and the security of the nation. And uh, Russia is attentively studying uh, international experience uh, in this area and uh, uh, the uh, drug trafficking issues and uh, drug abuse. And as was said, the number of people abusing drugs is uh, growing uh, uh, exponentially. Uh, but nevertheless, we have uh, some positive experience, not only in Russia, but uh, uh, um, uh, outside uh, the country. Uh, and we regularly communicate with our foreign uh, colleagues and uh, uh, disseminate information about uh, the uh, legal uh, com uh, com combating of uh, uh, drug uh, trafficking. And um, I would like to give the floor to uh, the representative uh, of the uh, state uh, drug control of the Russian Federation, Mr. Sergei Sotnikov, uh, deputy head uh, of the Department of the Interior Ministry. Ministry. Uh, let's greet uh, Mr. Sotnikov. Uh, um, I, I'd like to uh, take the rostrum uh, because I'm not a, such a professional speaker as my colleagues. Uh, my whole life was uh, dedicated uh, uh, to uh, fighting crime. Uh, and uh, well, uh, we don't really talk about it that much. Uh, but uh, drug abuse is such a serious problem uh, that it was impossible for me not uh, to participate uh, in uh, this this uh, international forum and uh, relate to you the uh, uh, realities, uh, the the uh, the, rea uh, the realistic situation and our attitude to the problem. The problem of drug abuse has uh, become uh, a, a highly uh, serious uh, social issue and a serious threat to society. There are rich people, poor people amongst those who abuse drugs 
drugs. Uh, um, more than 500,000 people. Uh, the uh, average portrait, uh, so to say, picture of a Russian drug uh, uh, user is a woman or man of uh, 42 years of age. Last year, the number of deaths was more than 5,000. And unfortunately, as Alexander Mikhail Mikhailovich has pointed out, the uh, statistics uh, only uh, 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 describes the overdose, uh, the deaths from overdoses of uh, drugs, but uh, it doesn't uh, reflect the picture of uh, uh, deaths related with uh, diseases uh, connected with drug abuse and suicides. Uh, there are a, a number of methods and uh, f of fighting uh, drug abuse uh, in many countries, uh, but uh, law enforcement uh, activities uh, of the police is uh, um, uh, highly important. Police doesn't fight particular uh, uh, drug users. Uh, uh, we aim uh, at uh, uh, at um, fighting uh, the system of. Uh, uh, drug uh, supply. Uh, drugs uh, have a seriously negative inf uh, uh, influence on uh, the health uh, of our country. Um, last year, we uh, noted a growth uh, of uh, uh, drug um, related uh, substances being planted uh, in uh, uh, the Russian Federation. In, uh, in accordance with the official statistics, every tenth crime is uh, connected with uh, drug abuse. Uh, the, uh, every second crime uh, is uh, connected uh, with drug sales. Uh, uh, serious uh, 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 crimes uh, are connected with the drug abuse. And uh, together with other uh, law enforcement uh, agencies and services. We are fighting uh, this uh, um, uh, evil, uh, but uh, 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 all this is happening within a situation uh, of uh, being uh, countered by uh, other countries. We uh, uh, and uh, drug uh, um, cartels in other countries. More than three uh, uh, um, tons of uh, uh, narco uh, narcotics uh, uh, were taken out of circulation, seven tons of uh, cannabis uh, and approximately 10 uh, tons of uh, um, um, uh, serious uh, substances. Uh, 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 psychiatrically destructive uh, substances. More than 140 uh, crime cases are uh, being investigated uh, currently. Uh, the uh, uh, important issues uh, that we, we are looking at uh, uh, is uh, the fact that we cannot resolve all these uh, problems only with the help of uh, police uh, involvement. There is one very important factor to be taken into consideration. Uh, a demand for drugs uh, drives a supply, uh, and uh, uh, the uh, conditions uh, uh, to uh, the, the, the what makes a person uh, start using drugs? What makes a young person start using drugs? In connection uh, and by result of certain uh, uh, research, it is moral degradation, absence uh, of employment, uh, um, uh, living in remote uh, villages, uh, cut away from uh, social life. Uh, different uh, people become uh, drug uh, uh, users under the influence of uh, of uh, criminal structures. Uh, that is true. All these reasons are quite correct. Uh, and uh, we've done a lot of research uh, in that connection. Uh, we can uh, look for those to blame uh, for the guilty party uh, and uh, the circumstances that create the situation. But the main uh, reason is the absence of uh, a clear uh, a civil uh, position uh, and standing uh, 
uh, of young people. Um, we, uh, gather, we, we've gathered here amongst young people from all over the world who have a very active uh, civil uh, position. And uh, uh, this uh, has to be nurtured in uh, children. Uh, a, a famous Russian poet, Mayakovsky, uh, said uh, uh, in one of his uh, uh, in one of his poems, the little boy comes to his father and is asking him what is good and what is bad. Uh, the, it's a very nice uh, uh, poem uh, and very, very has a very deep meaning of uh, what uh, the little child has to uh, get from his family. Uh, uh, the little child knows uh, that uh, the figure of authority in his family is the father and the mother who teaches him right and wrong and how to distinguish between right and wrong. So it is very important to start with uh, children uh, and uh, educating and uh, uh, children. None of us is going to say that taking drugs is good, uh, um, but what is happening currently, starting from an early age, nobody explains anything to uh, children. Um, responsibility and uh, patriotic feeling, uh, patriotic uh, uh, inclinations are not popular at school anymore. Uh, popular uh, artists, popular actors and singers, unfortunately, joke on the topic of uh, drugs. And uh, young people uh, have um, a distorted uh, uh, understanding of uh, drugs uh, due to that. Uh, we are trying, uh, some countries are starting to uh, legalize uh, drugs uh, in, uh, um, uh, the, uh, uh, th in therapy of uh, different illnesses and diseases. Uh, but uh, we live uh, in a very uh, multipolar world, even the interior ministry, a sergeant from uh, Tajikistan uh, uh, um, uh, who uh, was uh, saying that work for us, uh, uh, brothers. And on the other hand, uh, there's a high public uh, official uh, in a, a um, in one of the ministries is uh, sitting on bags of currencies earned by drug trafficking. Uh, I started working in the Interior Ministry in 1983 after graduating s from school and uh, university. Uh, and now we're testing children at a school uh, for uh, early drug abuse. Um, the uh, danger of uh, people uh, without uh, a very uh, uh, seriously thought through ideological stance uh, and a civil uh, position is uh, highly uh, important to note. Um, we are fighting corruption now, and on the streets of uh, many cities, cities uh, uh, there were uh, uh, there were. <clears throat> <clears throat> hundreds of uh, young people. Well, of course, uh, corruption is a serious threat uh, to the development of our society, and uh, youth is uh, attracted to fighting this crime. But a uh, 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 meeting which was not sanctioned by the government uh, is means uh, that police will attack uh, those who are taking part in the meetings, uh, and there is a conflict between the two parties, but the corruption is still in place. Uh, and this is a provocation. Uh, there are many other problems, uh, just simply not uh, giving bribes. Uh, but uh, uh, but uh, uh, with the help of uh, uh, the internet, uh, you can get together uh, where you can fight uh, both uh, corruption and bribery. And uh, you only you don't need to become an active member of a meeting and therefore fall under the provocation, somebody else's dirty provocation. Uh, I don't think we need to explain uh, that uh, drug abuse is a serious threat to security of uh, the nation, our nation, and any other nation in the world. Uh, under the guidance of uh, the President Vladimir Putin, uh, the uh, Security Council dedicated uh, its session uh, to um, facilitating uh, and accelerating work in this area.
I'm quite sure that this will bear uh, its fruit in the near future. Uh, I would uh, like to rely on you, young people, uh, on uh, 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 you uh, uh, have to uh, determine uh, the uh, norms uh, of our future lives uh, in accordance with which you are going to continue uh, to raise your families. The uh, sy systemic work in, of volunteer uh, organizations have to do something about the fact that uh, inter in internet is uh, filled with uh, ads uh, um, uh, on uh, selling uh, and distributing and trafficking drugs. We have to do something about it. A healthy lifestyle uh, for every person uh, has to be uh, the uh, main characteristic of uh, our uh, position and uh, uh, our main goal. Um, thank you for uh, your attention. And I would also like to uh, say that every single different person associates different things with drugs. But as a professional, I can say that uh, drug abuse uh, is uh, a, 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 um, a, a ticket without return, without return, uh, a one-way ticket. Uh, thank you very much uh, for your comment. When you, when we listen to these uh, figures, uh, we're only thinking of statistics, but uh, there are uh, uh, real life stories, families, children uh, uh, that are connected uh, with uh, the um, with it, uh, we are discussing uh, this um, <clears throat> topic on an, an international level, and it's highly important for uh, each and every one of us. Uh, um, we, we, we mustn't shut our eyes uh, to the fact uh, that uh, it has uh, become a serious uh, threat uh, to the development of our society. Uh, we, uh, uh, sh we should be proactive, and uh, we must realize that it may happen to each and every one of us, to our children. A uh, problem who come face to face uh, with uh, these uh, uh, problems uh, know all about that. Uh, uh, people uh, sometimes delineate and distinguish between soft and uh, hard drugs, uh, despite uh, the fact uh, that both uh, soft and hard drugs uh, harm uh, both the body and the mind in equal forms. It's uh, like a springboard to uh, soft drugs is a springboard to uh, other uh, drugs. And uh, we cannot rely on the myths uh, in the internet, on, on, on the music. Uh, which uh, is trying to uh, disseminate the idea of drug abuse. Just simply uh, um, uh, um, uh, 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 any kind of program that would give you an insight into what a person experiences uh, in drug abuse and what the reason uh, for addiction uh, can be may be very useful in that respect. Not many people know about that. It's not such a popular type of information. You see, uh, what is being popularized is uh, quite uh, the contrary. And, uh, of course, uh, people are not doing this uh, uh, um, just for fun, uh, because uh, all, of, uh, all of them are under the umbrella of uh, those uh, who are disseminating crime. I would like to... <clears throat> and now I would like to pass the floor to Mr. Matu Barturin. Uh, um, uh, who uh, would speak about the interaction between the state and uh, youth organizations and civil uh, society organizations. And uh, so I think it would be, uh, your speech would be most interesting for every, uh, everybody. Uh, uh, thank you, Sergei. Uh, in uh, development of uh, uh, the ideas uh, um, voiced by the previous speakers, we, I can say that uh, every state uh, selects its own approach uh, to combat threats uh, and uh, risks uh, and uh, dangers, informational or other, how to uh, shape their own uh, um, anti-drug uh, trafficking uh, um, uh, policy and uh, how to prevent uh, the spread of drugs among the population. And uh, we hear that there are uh, councils that uh, um, are attached, uh, uh, councils of experts attached to uh, various agencies and ministries and the heads of states, etc. In our country, we have a state uh, anti-drug uh, committee. Um, which was a response measure 
to uh, the uh, in uh, drug um, um, uh, trafficking because uh, we uh, have to unite all our uh, resources and efforts within society um, to counteract this uh, threat. Then uh, in 2007, uh, the decision was made by the uh, leaders of this country to form uh, anti-drug uh, committees and councils on the regional and local levels. Uh, so uh, it happened 10 years ago. And so uh, yesterday we celebrated the 10th anniversary of this agency. Uh, and so that's um, exactly uh, uh, um, uh, that I wanted uh, to uh, um, congratulate my colleagues with. Uh, and so uh, uh, what? Uh, who uh, joined this uh, uh, state uh, anti-drug uh, committee uh, and what results uh, uh, it has obtained uh, over these uh, years? Uh, the committee unites uh, uh, representatives both uh, of the uh, legislation, legislative um, uh, branch of power, uh, that's in the presidential administration, um, and uh, uh, virtually all members of the government uh, and other top-level managers. And this mechanism allows us to work almost uh, in real-time mode uh, and make decisions that could uh, impact on the situation in the country. Similar regional committees uh, uh, are very similar in uh, composition as well, because they include the uh, local authorities. And so they can also take uh, decisions, um, um, technical decisions, that would improve the situation here and now. So what are the achievements uh, uh, of this committee, anti-drug committee? First, uh, the country has uh, a state-owned uh, system for the monitoring of drug situation in the country. It uh, helps uh, um, monitor and trace all the changes, not only on the federal, national level, but on the regional as well. Uh, this committee, jointly with the regional subcommittees, uh, um, analyzes and uh, researches the situation uh, um, regarding drug trafficking and drug um, uh, taking. And uh, an appropriate report is then uh, uh, put together uh, for the president of Russia um, because uh, um, uh, with proposals uh, regarding what agencies, uh, ministries uh, can improve the situation, what should be done. Um, in line with such reports, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the president of Russia um, submitted uh, the uh, strategy uh, of uh, um, anti-drug uh, policy uh, until 2020. Uh, this strategy identified the main players, main agencies uh, that would be um, taking measures and responding to such uh, challenges. The committee uh, is the author of uh, strategic documents um, and action plans. And among such uh, documents, which uh, significantly uh, facilitated uh, um, significantly improved the situation in this country. Uh, uh, that uh, was the uh, requirement uh, uh, of um, uh, 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 recipes, uh, prescriptions uh, uh, to uh, uh, prescriptions uh, to buy uh, uh, codeine um, uh, co um, containing um, drugs, and uh, because they were used as primary drugs uh, to uh, um, uh, manufacture more serious drugs, and so once uh, this requirement uh, to uh, uh, prohibit free sale or of uh, uh, such uh, medicines. Uh, 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 was made, um, and uh, the first positive results uh, were obtained. Uh, so uh, the regional and local committees uh, uh, implement such policies, anti-drug policies, uh, uh, respectively, on their levels. And so uh, how do we interact with the civil society organizations? All those measures, all those decisions which are made by the committee, naturally, uh, they are 
uh, go through the um, uh, civil uh, society screening um, and uh, the so-called uh, um, uh, civil uh, expert uh, appraisal. Um, all lots of NGOs participate in uh, uh, the analysis of uh, such uh, strategic uh, documents, and consequently, our committee has uh, a number of agreements uh, with various uh, religious and. Uh, civil society organizations. We have uh, such an agreement uh, with the Russian Orthodox Church uh, that has been very active in uh, providing assistance to drug addicts that would like to give up uh, drugs. Uh, and here, uh, our coordination and cooperation is very, very fruitful. We also uh, um, uh, see that uh, regional committees, anti-drug com committees, are very active with uh, uh, working with local communities like uh, Cossack communities and the leaders of uh, youth uh, volunteer anti-drug uh, movements and some other groups. Uh, and one of the results of such uh, activities is as follows, and thanks to the uh, recommendations of our committee, at the uh, uh, meeting of the uh, uh, council of uh, um, at the at the at the meeting of the federal assembly um, uh, and the state Duma uh, that was uh, where uh, Mr. Putin, president of this country, made his uh, uh, federation address. Um, we saw uh, also invited, we saw uh, young people and youth organizations and civil society organizations invited uh, to that meeting. And those speakers uh, who, I, uh, uh, who are here, uh, panelists who are here, um, Sergei, for instance, can uh, say more about the social projects uh, which are being uh, implemented by young uh, organizations, uh, youth organizations, um, regarding the um, um, anti-drug policies and efforts. And finally, let me say that uh, there is a need to unite uh, those uh, anti-drug drug, uh, youth and so youth initiatives, uh, which uh, are widely spread not only in Russia, but in other uh, countries as well. And uh, we uh, may uh, replicate or at least discuss the mechanisms uh, that can be used for such unifications. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, uh, friends. Uh, I'd like to say that we have a, a couple of notes with questions already in the uh, uh, um on stage uh, um, and in the presidium, and uh, as soon as we're through with the session, we'll be able to answer them. Uh, Sergei has uh, touched upon uh, public uh, organizations. Uh, I also represent a public uh, organization, Stop Drug, Stop Narcotic. Uh, it was uh, created <clears throat> quite by chance, uh, had no particular objective. Uh, to fight anything in particular. It was just a civil challenge uh, 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 that we uh, were facing, and we decided to fight for justice. My neighbors turned to me once, and I was told that drugs were sold right by the subway station, by the metro station. Uh, uh, <clears throat> And, of course, uh, I'm just a normal representative of the society uh, at the, uh, uh, and have always been so. And I uh, used to discuss uh, uh, these topics with my friends. But when I understood that both my younger brother and my relative were under threat because these drugs were sold uh, right under our noses and there were people who were interested in uh, <clears throat> pressing drugs on them. Uh, <clears throat> And one of the first brands uh, uh, that uh, came to mind uh, or comes to mind is Spice, one of the synthetic uh, drugs which has a different uh, formula, uh, uh, which uh, is uh, different uh, to the ones uh, that has been already prohibited. Well, it was sold uh, uh, all over Moscow uh, because it was not included into the li list of prohibited uh, uh, substances. Uh, this drug became 
popular very quickly. Uh, it was actively uh, disseminated uh, in uh, uh, amongst uh, children and uh, uh, adolescents. Uh, uh, and the internet site uh, advertised uh, these uh, sales for me. As a young politician, it became absolutely impossible uh, to stand aside uh, from this uh, situation. Um, prior to that, I had never, ever uh, uh, actually taken uh, part uh, in uh, fighting um, uh, this uh, fighting uh, um, uh, drug traffickers, but I got more and more involved. I started reading books. I interviewed some experts. I gathered uh, different opinions and, uh, uh, and knowledge. I visited a number of rehabilitation uh, centers, and I understood the causal effects uh, as to uh, what uh, precluded the government to work uh, and fight uh, this uh, evil on a systemic basis. We don't have that many volunteers, but nevertheless, there are 10,000 of us approximately. And our aim, main objective is to try and find the answer to a systemic sort of mistake in uh, the combat of uh, fighting drugs. And one of them was uh, the access uh, to open uh, advertising of drugs on smartphones, um, just simply on the streets. And there were a lot of drugs. Uh, that were, uh, well, actually uh, illegally uh, disseminated uh, in the streets. Um, uh, when uh, we uh, actually uh, uh, detained a person uh, for uh, trafficking drugs, uh, there was no law uh, that uh, we could use against him because he was simply the possessor of drugs and we couldn't prove uh, that he was selling drugs. But nevertheless, we managed to resolve these uh, difficult issues. And uh, uh, um, we do understand uh, that this it, it is highly necessary for all of us uh, to do something about this evil and become more and more active in uh, fighting drug abuse in society. We were looking for a systemic decision in that respect, and we started communicating with the authorities. We made the authorities take a much more serious approach approach uh, to uh, the negative dynamic, we um, actually drew their attention to the fact that there were some signs uh, on walls advertising the places of sales. And uh, we asked uh, uh, those who lived in the cities uh, to simply paint over uh, these ads uh, on the walls. Uh, Unfortunately, of course, uh, using uh, one's smartphone, uh, one uh, could disseminate it. So this uh, was one of the systemic uh, 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 mistakes. Uh, there were a number of systemic mistakes that we made in uh, the regulations and uh, in uh, the laws. Uh, and uh, we... <clears throat> thought of a way out, such as a temporary prohibition of uh, the above-named uh, substances. Uh, because uh, in order in order to uh, pass a law, uh, it might uh, take a, a much uh, a longer time. But a psychedelic uh, uh, substance can now be prohibited even before it uh, is entered into the list of prohibited sci uh, uh, prohibited substances. We analyze the effect of uh, such uh, uh, substance and then came to the conclusion whether it should remain on the list or not. And now the law has been put into effect uh, three years uh, ago, and uh, currently it is assisting us in combating uh, drugs uh, and drug abuse and uh, drug traffic, uh, traffic
trafficking, and especially uh, the new formulas which have uh, recently appeared on the territory of the Russian Federation. Uh, now, uh, we can stop synthetic drugs on the borders, uh, of course, with the qualitative, highly qualitative work of all the services uh, that are engaged. We've been doing this together with our international colleagues. Uh, the law can be passed in uh, any country. Uh, everyone is interested uh, in uh, carrying out the law. We have a, a number of uh, problematic issues and a number of challenges. And uh, we uh, work with uh, 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 people who are uh, ready to work with us and assist us on a temporary basis. The public. Uh, movement stop narcotic or stop drug uh, is also uh, a preventative uh, measure for uh, drug uh, trafficking and uh, drug distribution. Uh, those who had not yet been hooked up by drugs, uh, they have to be educated. Those who are already drug abusers, uh, they uh, have to be treated. And uh, those who are disseminating uh, drugs, uh, they have to go to jail and they have to, well, uh, uh, they, they, they will have to be uh, 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 really stopped. And um, <clears throat> well, uh, I'd like to uh, switch on uh, the video. We also conduct a number of videos. Our, our organization conducts a number of videos, not always international, but nevertheless, we get together and spend time together in discussing these issues. A uh, healthy lifestyle. Uh, 7,200 activists in the movement. Stop drugs, stop narcotic. Uh, hundreds of uh, uh, anti drug campaigns and clubs. Uh, there is a team of experts working with us. the most effective anti-drug movement in Russia. Thank you. Um, and uh, friends, well, there are other movements, of course, in uh, Russia. Uh, there are quite a number of organizations working uh, with this uh, issue. And we start working with uh, uh, children uh, and uh, families and uh, continue in educational establishments, uh, such as schools and universities. I'd like to introduce uh, Denis Skok. Uh, he works with a problem, not only that problem, in one of the most uh, uh, distinguished uh, universities uh, in Russia and abroad, uh, the Moscow State Technical University, raising this topic uh, to a scientific level discussion. Um, thank you, Sergey. Uh, I'd like to start, uh, well, maybe from the start, uh, uh, the uh, uh, um, um, <clears throat> Com combating uh, serious threats uh, and the topic of combating serious threats has become one of the topical issues for discussion in our university in 1996 when on the basis of uh, our university we created a scientific center uh, on the prevention of drug abuse uh, amongst the young uh, um, teachers uh, experts uh, tutors and uh, uh, took a part uh, in uh, this movement. Uh, they uh, aided uh, students in a life and uh, in their studies. And uh, this uh, scientific center approached uh, the uh, systemic, uh, um, systemic um, way, a method of fighting uh, drug abuse. One of the first events that we organized was a musical festival of uh, students, uh, um, uh, the a festival against drug abuse, uh, against drug use. Uh, we invited the representatives of the sports community, quite a number of stars, and noted and distinguished guests. And after this uh, successful event, um, 
um, with the support uh, of the uh, rector uh, and the uh, of uh, of uh, the university we created a volunteer organization which was called uh, uh, the students of the uh, uh, Bauman say uh, for healthy lifestyle uh, this organization uh, was quite successful <clears throat> has always be, has been uh, quite successful we've um, organized um, a significant amount of events out of them uh, is a, a campaign with the League of the Health of Nations of the Nation uh, and uh, uh, um, a, a campaign with uh, the Interior Ministry um, joint campaign uh, on um, <clears throat> combating drugs and uh, um, uh, and as a result uh, of all uh, these activities in 2010, uh, we created an all-Russian anti-drug organization, which is called Zdarova Inisiativa Healthy Initiative. Um, um, what is the difference? What, what is the difference? Uh, uh, what uh, 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 distinguishes our organization currently? Um, the students, uh, with the support of uh, uh, the, uh, the professors and lecturers of uh, the uh, university, uh, become uh, become uh, those uh, who actively or proactively support prevention of uh, drug abuse. They uh, conduct different healthy, healthy lifestyle uh, organizations uh, aimed at the prevention of uh, drug abuse uh, in accordance with the principle uh, equal to equal, peer to peer uh, events. <laughs> Dennis, uh, this, the, the this activity, uh, th th this volunteer activity, uh, can it be dangerous uh, to us uh, in any way? And how, how do you create uh, a team of people like that in a, in a, in a university? Well, a, a volunteer uh, action of the kind can uh, not be dangerous, uh, not at all. Uh, 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 but look, uh, uh, guys, these guys represent their universities in uh, other countries. How do you create such a movement in a university, in any university? You have to have an initi a group of uh, initiators, uh, those who will incentivize others uh, to follow through with the common goal, uh, and 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 uh, which will lead to signing an official document of the kind. Uh, the other important thing is to. Be be supported by your uh, lecturers, uh, by your mentors, uh, who can either help you with advice uh, or in any other practical uh, way. Having worked out a particular plan of action or an action plan, you uh, then uh, uh, then you, you then follow through with uh, gaining support of uh, the rector and uh, the administration of uh, you, the university. In in conclusion, I'd like to say that thanks to the events uh, that we have organized, uh, uh, and uh, our university is an international university. We have a st we have students from all over the world. Uh, uh, we've been able to organize an international platform. Uh, students from other countries uh, participate uh, in uh, the activities uh, of this of this uh, volunteer uh, movement. And and uh, by the way, we speak different languages, uh, which allows us to communicate. Uh, <clears throat> a very good. A very good question was asked, how to uh, set up a volunteer uh, youth organization um, uh, within a university. I would uh, uh, take uh, a further step and uh, I would suggest that you delegates of this uh, um, uh, festival uh, that you could uh, support the initiative of the students of uh, St. Petersburg uh, uh, Shipbuilding University. And uh, actually, it's a student uh, uh, 
uh, and university uh, student life uh, is uh, a life uh, free of drugs. Uh, and uh, if you reach uh, a federal level, it would uh, cause be a serious blow on the international drug trafficking cartels. Uh, and if a person comes uh, to uh, uh, work uh, for a public agency, uh, certainly um, a ministry, etc., and uh, they cannot uh, suffer from drug abuse. Well, it's a very interesting proposal, and uh, since we're talking about cooperation between uh, ya- young um, uh, people and youth organizations, and here, uh, let me then pass the microphone to Roman Chukov. Uh, he is the uh, chair of the um, uh, Center for International Promotion of uh, Free of Charge, Free of Drugs um, uh, Life. Uh, It's very interesting how many foreign uh, participants are participating here. Could you raise your hands? Those. We at least have one third or one half of international participants. Скорее всего, у нас примерно половина или треть иностранных участников, поэтому я продолжу на русском языке, но это любопытно, что. I will continue speaking in Russian, but it's very interesting that it means it proves that this is a relevant and a topical issue uh, for uh, young people as well. And since we are present at the International uh, World Festival of Youth and Students, I would just thank you for your participation and for your interest in this topic. In 2014, we were working uh, on uh, a youth uh, agenda uh, for the G8 uh, um, uh, um, meeting. Where, uh, when Russia, um, uh, which Russia was to uh, chair, and uh, the main uh, um, program, the main agenda was devo- devoted to um, anti-drug uh, policies because the leaders of the states uh, of the G8 countries were discussing um, uh, this issue, and uh, it was a very pressing, uh, pre- uh, a very urgent and topical issue in those days. And so that work uh, was not wasted, and uh, we uh, uh, have been. Uh, working with our clients, with our uh, partners uh, since then. And so uh, this is our uh, function. Uh, So the Center of uh, Foreign uh, Promotion um, accumulates uh, best practices uh, which are generated abroad. And we're also quite successfully promoting uh, successful Russian initiatives so that uh, the other countries, the whole world, could avail uh, uh, themselves of uh, uh, that experience uh, and expertise that uh, uh, Russia has accumulated. And uh, my colleague, uh, Rodrigo, who represents the Latin American continent, could also speak about uh, uh, his uh, experience, because uh, lots of drugs come from us, uh, uh, Latin America. It's, it would be also very in- interesting to, to learn how they work. Uh, I think that we should focus our uh, efforts uh, on uh, the engagement or inclusion of young people into various uh, social practices uh, and uh, demonstrate various uh, um, role models uh, uh, for um, uh, young people, not only uh, about uh, uh, pop stars or music stars uh, uh, that perform on stage, but uh, I mean uh, about local communities on the regional level, district level, uh, and school level, university level, etc. Well, it doesn't. So there must be an example anywhere uh, that would demonstrate a, 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 a life without drugs. And uh, that's very important. Uh, Another thing uh, which is important uh, um, uh, in relation uh, to uh, the uh, combating of uh, drugs and uh, is uh, the radicalization of young people when they get easily subjected to uh, bad influence. Well, it's very important to do something uh, so um, would be uh, that would be interesting for young people. It would be interesting for them to participate in such initiatives, to live, uh, to have fun and everything. So that would be really great uh, when uh, uh, people people uh, travel and uh, um, visit one another, trying to improve their lives, change their lives for the better. I believe that we've got just to be more active here. And what uh, our colleagues uh, mentioned about different initiatives that unite uh, volunteer efforts and initiatives, maybe we should uh, discuss it uh, 
uh, closer and uh, as one of the outcomes of this festival, of this forum, that we could uh, uh, set up an organization or um, 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 some structure that uh, would unite uh, uh, experts uh, that uh, have been um, uh, professionally combating uh, drug abuse and drug trafficking uh, and those who would like to contribute uh, to uh, 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 lives free of uh, uh, drugs. And we are, are certainly ready to uh, uh, introduce international experience as well. Thank you very much. The idea is very good uh, when you spoke about this youth movement, uh, but uh, maybe we shouldn't reinvent the wheel. Uh, just uh, two months ago, we launched in Russia a movement which is called Four Real uh, Causes. We, uh, I mean, I represent another civil uh, society organization which is called the Officers of Russia. We represent different law enforcement and uh, um, army uh, um, uh, agencies and uh, uh, we are ready to provide a cre well a forensic um, uh support uh, and uh, legal support uh, and uh, physical support uh, uh, to uh, we were ready to provide to you our premises because well we are our headquarters are at Pakrovka number no. five in Moscow and so you can uh, come uh, uh, to us and so you see we already have the location the venue we have partners and so it's certainly very good uh, uh, because uh, it's a very rare thing for a civil uh, organization Bertrand Je voulais juste rajouter un mot. Je, je vois dans la salle une capacité de 350 places facile. Et au dernier comptage que j'ai pu effectuer, je compte 62 personnes, dont 10 étrangers et 10 gens du staff. Hier, j'étais avec votre ministre. La salle était pratiquement pleine. Donc je pense que déjà, il faut aussi peut-être changer les modes de communication pour s'adresser aux jeunes. Je pense que si j'avais été en charge de la communication de cet événement, j'aurais trouvé un titre plus accrocheur, comme par exemple « Je vais faire fumer le KGB » ou quelque chose qui pourrait ressembler à ça. À mon avis, la salle aurait été complètement pleine. Euh, pour revenir sur les, les, les capacités... <rire> Qu'est-ce qu'il a dit Redis-moi. Non, ce n'est pas la quantité, c'est la qualité qui compte. En fait, nous allons pour terminer, je te rends le micro dans 4 secondes. Donc pour terminer, il faut aussi s'intéresser aux mécanismes d'addiction parce qu'il y a aussi de l'addiction au sucre. Il faut aussi s'intéresser aux mécanismes d'addiction parce qu'il y a aussi de l'addiction au sucre. Je pense que toutes les personnes qui ont une masse pondérale très importante peut être considérée aussi comme une addiction idem que la drogue. Euh, et qu'il faut aussi réglementer ce type d'activité. Merci. Désolé pour cette petite introduction. Bertrand, excuse-moi. <rire> Je t'excuse, vas-y. Thank you. Собственно, на самом деле, Бертан правильно говорит, да, он просто употребляет термин зависимость. Зависимость это по, скажем так, в научном в научной трактовке это гипертрофированное чувство удовольствия. То есть, когда чувство удовольствия ставится во главу всему остальному. И поэтому зависимость может, зависимостью может являться что угодно. Но, да, когда оно ставится, соответственно, во главу всему остальному. Но мы отвлеклись, собственно, от хода нашей дискуссии. У нас есть уникальная возможность пообщаться с нашим коллегой из Бразилии. У нас часто совпадают позиции и по G20 с бразильской делегацией. И хотелось бы, конечно, сказать и предоставить слово нашему коллегу и другу Родриге Рейса. И как, хотелось прям даже сказать о том, что And now we will present our friend from Sunny Brazil, Rodrigo Reis. Аплодисментами встречаем нашу коллегу. Спасибо, Сергей, for this energetic uh, introduction. Thank you, guys. Um, thanks for uh, inviting me here. I would like to start off uh, with something which I consider very important, that I appreciate everything that has been said so far here, but I haven't heard one word which I find really important, which is education. 
right? I think like the, the war on drugs is a multifaceted uh, issue, which has to be dealt from a multi-sector and a multi-stakeholder approach. And education for me, um, I'm part of a civil society in Brazil. I'm the director of a, an institute called Global Attitude, and I'm also part of the National Youth Council from Brazil. So we care a lot about education, about like talking with young people since from the beginning, right? Because I think drugs in general is not a issue that we can r really and just use enforcement of the law as the unique approach to it, right? So again, I think it's, 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 it's an issue that, has, that should be dealt as a stakeholder and a multi-sector approach to, to, to all the causes and all the damage that drugs in general cause, right? Because I'm saying that because from, from a perspective, from, from the youth perspective that we have been working in Brazil, I've been to places where consumption of drugs in Brazil, again, has been mentioned, right? We are responsible for 70% of all the drugs that are exported to, Russia, uh, to Europe, right? Most likely the drugs, uh, namely cocaine, which uh, all our Latin American uh, body, neighboring countries are the main supply of the coca leaves, right? So the drug passed through, through Brazil. And we have a really a massive and a gigantic problem in terms of like drugs, corrupting politics, corrupting the police, corrupting society, and being from all levels, from 12 years old, you know, to old politicians that, that uh, profit with, with the drug trade, right? So again, I think education is one of the issues that we should use and that should be strengthened when we're dealing with drugs, right? I don't believe, for example, that the war on drugs from the US, right? Or Rodrigo Duarte, uh, the, price, the president of the Philippines at the moment, they have the way using of law enforcement as the only approach to drugs. Right? So I think like what, what is happening in the Philippines, if we take the case of the Philippines specifically, more than 8,000 people have been killed by legal forces, by either paramilitaries, by vigilants, or by even the, the military from the Philippines. Right? So 8,000 people that were unfairly killed uh, by the forces of the president. So I mean, again, the US in the, is another example which for me is a model which has been failing with both the drug dealers, right, and then the, the, the drug takers. I think for me, this is, this is a model that we, we should avoid. We should be looking at new concepts and new ways to deal with this multifaceted uh, issue. Again, I would like to bring the example, for example, uh, in Brazil, in Sao Paulo more specifically, where I'm from, we have a, a very big problem at the moment with uh, crack cocaine, right? So that's a, a very specific, it's, it's very similar to what you guys have in Russia here, it's called crocodile, right? It's, it's, it's extremely damaging, it's, it, it kind of like, it goes beyond just the, the physical body or mind of the people. It sort of like goes directly with, against the families and society as a whole because it's, it's, it's highly addictive, right? So crack cocaine in Brazil is, is, is a big issue. And then what we've been seeing there from uh, our previous mayor is a program called like Open Arms, which has a more human approach and more inclusive approach in dealing with drugs, right? So obviously the reduction of drug is, is, is obviously is, is a point that has to be strengthened and enforced but also other measures that tackle actually with accommodation, employability, removing them from the streets or from the, the, the slums that they, they live. So it's, it's, this is what I would like to put forward here in terms of like looking at drugs, yes, as a globalized issue, as an interdependent issue, because the, the coca leaves that are produced in Peru end up here as the last product in Russia, right? So it's, it's a chain of supply that is, is, is make this possible. But then also, again, to look this as, as again, uh, as a multifaceted uh, problem that, have, that should involve not just government, but civil society, right? The public, all the public uh, health uh, ministries as well, because at the end of the day, in my perspective, that's a health issue as well. Um, so, yeah. This is the message, I think the main message I would like to put forward here is the, is the perception that we should not just strength law enforcement, but we should be looking at a more comprehensive and a more broad approach to how we deal with drugs. Thank you.
Thank you very much uh, for your contribution. Um, <clears throat> Uh, uh, Rodrigo is uh, welcomed here by uh, some of the representatives from Brazil uh, who cheer him. Uh, uh, so if uh, there were uh, fans of every one of our speakers, the hall would have been filled with people. And uh, so where are they? <laughs> uh, uh, so uh, we have uh, a number of questions. Uh, um, uh, can I actually uh, ask uh, the uh, question right now? But uh, yes, please, of course, we're interested in your question. Is that you? Lubov, is that you? Yes, please. We'll, we'll of we will, of course, give you the chance to uh, ask the question. G good afternoon. Thank you for the uh, opportunity uh, to ask the question. I'm from Lensk, from Yakutia. Sergei, you were saying that marijuana is like a springboard uh, for the use of other drugs. Don't you think that the first uh, springboard is alcohol, actually? Alcohol? Uh, uh, we think so in our republic because uh, we have a, a non-alcohol uh, movement uh, in uh, our uh, republic. Uh, by the way, uh, we work with uh, an organization based in Moscow, uh, Youth Against Alcohol. Um, and uh, unfortunately, it's on the level of the tradition in uh, the republic. Uh, we are developing uh, this uh, movement. And also, another question uh, to Sergei, uh, I forgot your uh, patronymic, uh, Sergei Alexandrovich. Thank you. Um, if uh, the uh, initiatives are equal uh, to drug abuse, which would have been logical and uh, correct, will you support such initiatives? Well, Lyubov, I'm going to answer your question in the following way. Uh, there is a formal part and an informal part. Formally, of course, uh, alcohol is legally distributed in uh, Russia, and therefore it cannot be equalized with uh, drugs, because drugs are prohibited by the law. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, but nevertheless, uh, uh, of course, uh, alcohol like every uh, antisocial uh, activity, uh, if we talk about the springboard towards drug abuse, uh, um, uh, 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 is, uh, is 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 uh, uh, actually uh, uh, so. It is a fact. Uh, uh, although we haven't conducted research in this area, well. Uh, on the one on the one side, I actually agree with you. Whether uh, whether uh, alcohol will be uh, equal to uh, drug abuse in our country, uh, uh, it's a, a, a controversial issue. There are uh, quite a number of uh, other uh, problems connected and challenges connected with that, including the financial aspect. What I disagree with uh, is that. Uh, people uh, saying that uh, 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 it's a part of our uh, mentality. Uh, actually, historically, uh, uh, by the way, look back into the history of our country. Uh, Russians should be disassociated uh, with uh, alcohol abuse. Uh, 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 if you start studying the history of our country, you will learn that alcohol is not our story. Uh, the Russian person uh, is a, a sober person, uh, above all, and uh, one. Th 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 this is a th this is the wrong idea of our mentality. Um, Actually, what I would like to say a few words about is uh, the fact that uh, we are trying uh, to uh, raise the level to such a high a standard uh, where, where, where it becomes impossible. Our opponents are saying that alcohol was not a tra tradition in Russia, but I would like to remember Tridzikovsky. 
uh, uh, in his uh, and his poem uh, in uh, describing uh, this uh, uh, tradition uh, uh, in 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 uh, Russia. Actually, uh, a lot of things shouldn't be touched by hand. There shouldn't be this so-called manual approach to certain things in Russia. When we take radical steps in Russia, we have uh, the contrary effect. The tragedy of May, the anti. Uh, uh, alcohol law uh, brought to the growth of uh, drug abuse in Russia and uh, the uh, May tragedy tragedy of 1985 has a direct connection by the way with the previous festival of 1985 uh, the decree was adopted uh, that year I was uh, serving in the intelligence and uh, we had quite a number of issues and problematic issues with foreigners in the country minimize the use of alcohol, I agree. But such radical decisions as prohibition, uh, uh, that uh, uh, is not the way uh, to go. Uh, this uh, is uh, an issue of a mentality of every particular person, of an individual. And you should tread carefully here. Um, I'm sorry, I have to limit you in time. We have certain uh, limitations as far as uh, the time, uh, time frame uh, is concerned. Uh, I'm trying to answer your question. You must uh, remember that uh, uh, those who died from uh, uh, alcohol abuse, uh, uh, there are millions of those who died from alcohol abuse, uh, but uh, those who died from uh, marijuana abuse is zero, because actually you need, uh, well, uh, approximately 500 kilos of uh, marijuana uh, to bring on an overdose, uh, but, but I must say, uh, that uh, it is distributed in uh, the poor pockets of uh, society. Uh, and uh, pharmaceutical industry is against uh, 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 using uh, 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 cannabis because there are, uh, uh, there are a number of molecules uh, uh, that are um, uh, produced uh, on this level. Uh, alcohol in the form of wine in France is not considered uh, uh, to be uh, serious uh, from the point of view of abuse. Uh, so, sh those, those who, who were listening to Bertram, I, I'd like to say that statistically, yes, zero people died from marijuana. But uh, the people who then went on to hard drugs, uh, amongst them, there are hundreds of thousands of uh, those who uh, died from drug abuse. Uh, so uh, statistics is lying here. Well, uh, 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 there are facts uh, that go to prove otherwise. So I will disagree with that. Uh, uh, yes, I'd like to ask the young lady, and there are a couple of more uh, questions. Philippines. Oh, uh, first, I just wanted to correct <laughs> Mr. Rodrigo. Um, not all in the news are really true. I mean, I am currently the founder of Rescue Kabataan. Kabataan means rescue the youth. It's an NGO, non-government organization in the Philippines, which is working hand in hand with our president, Rodrigo Duterte. Um, I believe his, his ways are very, very effective. I've been through a, I was a former drug addict for long years, but when I started to do the movement of Rescue Kabataan and the government adopted it under the program of the Department of Education of our Philippines, it went, th it went through very, very smooth. Um, it's just so happened that the media highlighted all the negatives, his ways, his cusses, his, the way he talks. But then when you go to the Philippines, we are really in one spirit in fighting the drugs. Um, not only that, I really agree with what uh, Sir Baturin said a while ago. Um, if, if we could also have ways for us to replicate your good practices here in Russia and our good practices, probably we can be in one spirit in, in fighting this. Um, since I am leading an organization, a movement in the Philippines, we cater, we, we fight the six major factors in our country. Drugs, vices, sexual abuse, pornography, relationships, and suicide. Um, our government um, 
uh, gave us the permission, our movement, to saturate 18,000 campuses from high school to college and universities all around the Philippines, not funded by the government since we are NGO, but supported by the National Memorandum of Agreement. So I believe with what he's doing also in the university is the same thing that we've been doing, but the unique uh, thing here is we have a catch mechanism. So we, uh, the government catches those who are involved in drugs, catches those who are involved in sexual abuse, catches those who are involved in the six major factors. And also our NGO has a very unique way of catching also through the private institution. And if, if only we can also have a dialogue on how we can exchange good practices, then that would be much better. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your comment, and uh, we will partners, I uh, see. Um, yeah. uh, ah. <laughs> Rodrigo. Yeah. Um, I, to the lady of the Philippines, I would just would like to reply very quick uh, to your point. I don't think, well, first of all, I think like drugs are a really controversial issue here. It's, it's, it's probably we agree sometimes to disagree on various topics, right? But just to reply to you directly, I think um, I've been to the Philippines twice. Uh, I'm not talking something that I just read and I'm going to blame the media because perhaps the Guardian or whatever kind of newspaper is just uh, promoting or saying what the president is currently doing, right? So I have some, some knowledge and people that I know which really report and really talks of uh, the situation. I'm just very concerned with the approach that your current president has. Uh, I don't think the word that you use, smooth, really sums up like what uh, is happening in the Philippines when you take like uh, the drug abusers and the drug dealers, right? There is a sentence here which is quite like, for me, is quite shocking in the sense of uh, what he said. Um, he was, he's, he's, he used like a very strong willing word. Uh, one of his quotes here is, is the one that shocks, shocks, me, uh, shocks me the most when he was like a mayor of Davos. He vowed to slot these idiots for destroying my country. So it's, it's, it's very, it's exactly what I'm trying to defend here, that this should be an approach that it should not just be civil, uh, military or police or law enforcement, right? So just to wrap it up, thank you. Thank you. I hope that you have uh, the chance uh, to discuss uh, this issue uh, and uh, you will be able to find the seeds of uh, truth. Uh, uh, I'd like to give the floor uh, to the young man uh, in the auditorium and uh, another question at the back row. But uh, colleagues, uh, experts, please uh, um, uh, try and uh, answer the questions uh, briefly and shortly. Um. I am Sergei. I represent Russian Federation, the city of Ariol. And uh, uh, my question is to Vyacheslav Baturin. I am the head of a, pro of, uh, 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 of a youth uh, project uh, which uh, is aimed at uh, enhancing the spiritual uh, uh, level of our young people. And so uh, we uh, face the problems which I would call the uh, problems uh, or challenges of civilization. They are very typical of those countries which are uh, considered to be developed countries, developed uh, economies. But the problem of drugs, uh, drug trafficking, drug taking, it exists not only in developed countries but also in developing energies. And so the question, uh, uh, my question is, are there any universal techniques of combating uh, uh, drugs uh, uh, or uh, whether all such uh, techniques and practices are national, national uh, linked to the national specifics. Well, you understand uh, the older countries are discuss discussing the problem of uh, drug taking, uh, and all the countries uh, have uh, uh, tried different ways and means. Almost 100 years ago, the first uh, anti-drug convention, international convention, was adopted, and it demonstrated the universal approach. So to reduce uh, the uh, supply, uh, to reduce the uh, demand, uh, which includes uh, initial uh, preventive measures uh, so that the person uh, should be um, uh, 
uh, should be um, um, diverted from the criminal world uh, and uh, also uh, specific assistance to those who have already started experimenting with drugs and their uh, uh, health, and uh, including those uh, who want to give up, uh, um, get rid of this uh, drug addiction. So the main four directions uh, are the universal uh, um, ways and means uh, for uh, working in this area. Naturally, uh, all the four uh, main pillars are um, um, adapted to the national specifics of each country. Uh, thank you for your question. I mean, a universal decision, the so-called silver bullet, uh, that would be the upbringing within a family. If we're not talking about viruses or some uh, um, other diseases, I'm talking about uh, uh, work with family. And so a family, each family is unique, and each family has its own processes of uh, resolving. We can hear you. Je réponds au nom de Okito Stéphane de la République démocratique du Congo. Je préfère parler en français. I'm Stefan. Good afternoon. I'm uh, a medical doctor from the uh, Democratic Republic of uh, Congo, and I participate uh, in uh, anti-drug activities and uh, also uh, uh, entrepreneurial activities. And I address my question to Mr. Uh, uh, Sotnikov, who is sitting uh, on the right uh, of a moderator, when he finished his presentation, uh, he said that, well, this anti-drug uh, um, uh, battle, unfortunately, will uh, last forever. It will never stop, uh, and uh, there's no turning back. Uh, and I would like uh, you to comment on this phrase. So if you, uh, if I understand correctly, so uh, if you had a chance, if you had this possibility, you would uh, burn all the marijuana fields in order uh, to uh, uh, win in this battle. Do I understand you correctly? And. Uh, God, who created this world, this world uh, which we in inhabit, also uh, uh, created cannabis. And so uh, um, what's your position regarding this? So what profits? What, maybe not profits, but also benefits can be seen uh, regarding cannabis uh, in treating uh, various serious diseases uh, like uh, epilepsy and cancer. We know that uh, there are uh, sick people uh, who suffer from certain uh, diseases, but they take cannabis and they uh, feel uh, alleviation and uh, they feel better. So and there are some uh, um, sicknesses and diseases uh, which uh, require intake of drugs. Uh, so do you think that maybe we should go on with research in the sphere of cannabis? Yes, I understand your question. Uh, uh, the only thing uh, which I want to mention here uh, that uh, maybe there were certain uh, in inaccuracies, uh, drug addiction as uh, a disease, uh, it's irreversible. It's irreversible. Uh, we spoke about uh, uh, alcoholic uh, addiction. There is uh, maybe already hope uh, to get cured. Uh, and drug addiction, and all the medicines have proved that, that you can clean the body. But uh, the changes in the core of the brain are irreversible. And as a medical doctor, you should know that. And so this uh, irreversibility of the state, uh, that's what I meant. Uh, and so the palliative uh, institute me uh, the medicine that you mentioned, we have uh, in Russia uh, a special institute, a huge uh, medical institute. And uh, those uh, patients uh, that, suffer that are suffering from the 
fourth degree of cancer, they are given uh, heavy uh, painkillers, heavy drugs, and not only uh, based on cannabis, but also on opium and various drugs of the uh, opium group. And this, uh, such substances are controlled by the uh, government, and the entire issue uh, is uh, under the aegis of the government, is controlled by the government. Why God uh, has created uh, this? Uh, recently, uh, we uh, uh, heard uh, an orthodox uh, um, priest uh, who uh, has divined it all. So uh, let's uh, uh, see, let's take the first chapter of Genesis. When Adam and Eve uh, were standing in paradise in front, well, uh, and uh, Adam decided to eat uh, this apple, it doesn't mean that uh, Adam or Eve were hungry. They were not. But uh, the lure, the lure of this unknown, because there was a f- uh, prohibition, don't eat eat uh, fruit from this particular tree, because you will then know the evil and the good. And so that's the way God created us. And uh, do you think that God couldn't uh, have foreseen uh, that uh, people would be tempted by this fruit? And so those things which are incorporated into us as human beings, at least uh, we should do something in order not to harm ourselves. Thank you for your question. It was... uh, a very appropriate question. Well, dear friends, uh, uh, we I see hints and signals indicating that we have to wrap up our meeting. It was very interesting. Uh, there is only one thing that we, was not mentioned, and it's Darknet, uh, where freely you can buy do- drugs, weapons, like everything. Uh, it, are there some policies which are like on, to fight that, to overcome that. Thank you. Я могу по-русски еще спросить, сказать. Okay, I can do it in in Russian. Well, because I would like, I would to uh, ask a question about dark net, uh, where are uh, lots of drugs. Uh, are there any policies uh, aimed at? Uh, Uh, combating this dark net. Uh, well, I, I will tell one phrase. Uh, and uh, jointly, uh, we uh, spoke about with my friend about the dark net. And uh, the only thing which I understood uh, 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 from our discussions that uh, one cannot uh, 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 get there uh, uh, through a tour. Is there any policy? Uh, it uh, is necessary to understand that uh, dark net is just <clears throat> internet, uh, but you can't find it on uh, the browser. It's just a commercial internet. You will not find it on Google or Yandex. There are quite a number of things that you cannot find on legal browsers. Is that what we're talking about? And. Uh, The police are working uh, against uh, such um, nets uh, on the distribution of armament and drugs <clears throat> and conducting a- actions as uh, to uh, determining the a- a address um, and the sites. <clears throat> It's as if you would have wanted to regulate the sea. When you talk about the sea, you can swim in the sea, but you have to learn to swim first. So in parallel, you have to draw a parallel here. You can use the computer, uh, and uh, that's why I'm asking the question. Uh, try and ask uh, this question in the, in the browser uh, or answer the question. Have you ever taken drugs, and which drugs have you taken? Uh, it would have been interesting to get an honest answer to this question. <coughs> well, Bertrand, uh, you are asked a question, which uh, drugs you had uh, taken. Actually, amongst our speakers, there are experts on dealing with these issues, and they will be able to discern the truth. Well, <coughs> 
I understand the question about uh, dark net. Uh, uh, if you're following the news on uh, uh, fighting drug abuse um, uh, in cooperation uh, uh, with uh, the Russian Federation and other special services, uh, spe uh, uh, special security services, we'd been able uh, to close down uh, a platform of uh, uh, drug uh, dealers. Uh, uh, it's a very difficult uh, system uh, of uh, interaction uh, between the user and the dealer. There are quite a number of moderators in uh, not, not, not. Uh, there are quite a lot, uh, a lot of uh, those who are in between, uh, or the so-called mediators, uh, so to say, uh, who are in between the user and uh, the dealer. Um, <clears throat> but uh, in coordination with the work of. Uh, the uh, special security services of China, we had been able to detain uh, one of the leaders of uh, the uh, drug uh, uh, dealers uh, uh, gang and uh, uh, the person who has uh, organized the commercial sales of drugs. A anything can happen in our lives, uh, but uh, those who are aiming uh, at having everything here and now, that is what the young people want to do. They want to have the result here and now and immediately, and the results uh, need to be the way they, we want to see them. But but uh, life shows you and practice shows uh, that uh, uh, simply um, uh, somehow approaching a, a regional gang of uh, uh, drug uh, dealers takes uh, quite a long uh, time. Um, years years, uh, for instance, uh, but it is much more effective than simply uh, detaining every single drug dealer. Uh, yes, uh, Darknet is under control, uh, but uh, it is true that it's very difficult. It is like uh, the sea, as Bertram uh, has pointed out. Uh, Bertram was saying that uh, drug dealers have uh, advanced uh, and uh, one step ahead of us. Uh, uh, that's true uh, in a certain way. Uh, but nevertheless, we're not lagging behind uh, um, either. We're, we're, uh, we're closely following them. And uh, this, I suppose, uh, that a creation of, a, of an international youth platform where we could uh, exchange the experiences of our countries and uh, the positive uh, practices in this uh, area would have been a great contribution uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to achieving a positive result. Uh, I think this uh, could be a one way out of the difficult situation. And, uh, um, we have an example in uh, Russia of a state anti-drug uh, committee uh, representing the authority, the public, and uh, the special security uh, services. And uh, this might be uh, a good example to follow in order to create uh, um, a similar organization on an international uh, level. For those who would like to participate in the organization of such a platform, uh, you could uh, send your resume, uh, your CVs uh, to the address uh, which I'm going to give you. We will uh, um, establish contact with uh, you and we uh, discuss uh, um, <clears throat> the future of such an organization uh, online and then maybe invite you uh, uh, to Moscow uh, in order uh, to formalize uh, these uh, activities. And then uh, we will have to understand uh, how uh, the participants become uh, uh, enrolled into this organization, what are the principles of its organization, and uh, which volunteer and public structures would like to participate. And then probably we would be able together, uh, perhaps on an annual basis in uh, different countries in order to uh, facilitate uh, the development uh, uh, of uh, such an organization and work in this area. 
And those who uh, think that it is necessary to fight drugs uh, will be glad uh, to travel with good use. Uh, I suppose we can draw the line here. I would like to thank all the speakers who participated uh, in the discussion. I'd like to thank you for visiting this uh, platform and this uh, discussion. Uh, let's uh, keep in contact. Uh, the email is... Uh, uh, very simple, 228. Uh, this uh, uh, 228 at stopnarcotic.ru. Stop narcotic uh, written with a K, S T O P N A R K O T I K dot ru. So please uh, send your proposals. We will accumulate them. Uh, just one thing I wanted to relate to our young uh, uh, participants. Uh, if uh, you're interested in uh, what uh, the Ministry of uh, Internal Affairs is doing uh, in the field of uh, combating uh, uh, drug uh, trafficking and our initiatives in uh, the sphere of uh, prevention. We have an Instagram uh, uh, go, going uh, uh, dot ru. Uh, we have uh, uh, our address uh, in uh, contact. So this demonstrates the level of openness. Again, K M V D ru ru. Uh, uh, ru, and you will uh, find all the necessary information. Thank you very much, Sergey. Uh, I'd like to say something. A, 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 a sober way of life, a life without addiction and without drugs is a healthy way of thinking above all. And this is what we need to strive for.